Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Colin here with South FLCC, here with Joel the Nose, my All right. fellow friend, fragrance connoisseur. Today we're gonna to do my second video on the channel and it's gonna be, uh, first I'm gonna talk about designer versus niche a little quickly and then I'm gonna do, we're gonna do our top 10 starter fragrances. If you're just getting into the niche game, wanna step your game up, get a little edge on everyone else. We got some good picks for you, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back. So, as I said, we got Joel the Nose here. Check out his channel, that's Joel the Nose. Yes. I'll probably link it in the description as well, like we just did one for his video, he's gonna share the love. So, us fragrance guys, we like sharing our passion with everyone and seeing what everyone else likes. Absolutely. So today, I'm just gonna mention real quickly some points on niche versus designer. So, I know you did a video on this before. Yeah. Designer fragrances you're familiar with, Aqua de Joe, Bleu de Chanel, Sauvage, Prada. Don't get me wrong, these are still good fragrances. Of course they are, but the quality and niche, if you come to a place like Osme here down in Wynwood, you're just gonna smell the immediate difference in quality. There's a artistic side to it, a story. That's what I love about it. Yeah. The, the art of the bottles, the story behind it. And then the juice inside is also really good. So with these designer fragrances, I can wear three to five sprays. If you overspray designer fragrances, you may choke someone out. <laughs> Just a little warning. I know he posted on a story, he got an overload of Aqua de Joe the other day and it was not pleasant. Yeah. So you can't overdo that. But when it comes to niche fragrances, such as Parfums de Marly, Zerja, just to name a couple, you can overspray those and be good to go. And the compliments, like I did, I told him on account of my own, the compliments were rolling in. So let's do this. Yes. What do you got to say about no, it? No, I was just going to say good, good points about, I, I would say a, a, another thing that I see or I would define is the difference between designer yeah. and niche. Niche fragrances typically, that's all they do. So, yeah. if you, so these fragrance brands, again, whether it be Surjov, Montal, Parfums de Marley, that's all they make is perfumes. They don't make handbags, shoes like Prada or yeah. Dior or Chanel. Again, all fine quality stuff and, and nothing wrong with it. But these guys, this is all they do. And, and to me, that's one of the really big differences. It's what, what makes love, a niche yeah. fragrance and why they take such high you know, care of what they do. So anyways, having said that, let's get in. All right, so these are kind of particular order, but not really, because they cover, some, some cover different seasons or reasons. So I'm gonna go with my number five here. This one comes from Nobile 1942, and this is La Danza. Oh, yeah, I love Joel La showed me this one the other week, and um, I instantly fell in love. This is like an apple chocolate, but woodsy at the same time. It's yeah. so good. And it's, and it's, when you hear those, those notes, some people think of a classification called gourmand because yeah. it's kind of almost edible, but this is not, sometimes that, those fragrances can be a little bit too sweet or what we call cloying when it's just like, kind of almost like yeah. too, too intense. This is not at all, it's still light, I think it's got, yeah, bergamot in there. So it gives, it's still fresh, very wearable. I think an excellent choice for starting your niche collection. So what happened was I sprayed five different fragrances on my skin and I kept getting a whiff of one particular one and I kept going back to it. I liked it a lot and it turned out to be this one. So that just proves that uh, it's a good, yeah. good pleaser. You know that, and that's a great test. When you, when you have a different, bunch of different perfumes on your skin, which is what I always do when I come here and I'm trying out, you tend to gravitate. You'll notice after about an hour, if you, after you leave the store, yeah. you'll, you'll, you know, you kind of, there's one spot that you keep going to out of all these different, and that's a good sign of something that you really like. All right, uh, I'm gonna come in with my, in no particular order, but I'll just say number five. And this is Eight and Bob. Eight and Bob, the original. So the, the house is called Eight and Bob. It's a French niche house. This is their original. It goes back, I don't know, I think like 80 years to the original classic. This, there's a really famous story. I won't bore you with the details, but this is what JFK 
junior war. So before he became president, when he was like kind of roaming through France and Europe, he discovered this, brought it back to the States, and then the movie stars started wearing it. This has a lot of history, lot but of it's a great, too. fresh, just clean, bright fragrance, perfect for starting your niche collection. Great choice by Joel here. This one, I could see you wearing that maybe to work or on a date as well. It's, it could be very versatile. All right. We'll go number four here. All right. A little bit of a wild card here. This is New York Intense by Fragrance Dubois. And this one, would you classify this as a Fougere maybe? Uh, I would. Or what would you say? Hmm. It's, you know, it's hard to describe. You know, the name really does it justice. Like, it screams business casual, but also like to have fun. You're a manly man, but not in a annoying way. <laughs> yeah, th this is a great choice. This is one of my personal favorites. I have this in my collection. You know how I describe this? Is it, it's like for those of you. So try it, maybe not old enough. There is an 80s perfume called Dracar Noir, which is legendary. It's kind of this dark, sexy, girls loved it on guys. This to me is like a refined, sexy, dirty version of that going back. It's it just, it's got an old school throwback feel. Yeah. Very much, very much captures the essence of New York City. Love what they did with this. It's got some cedar, oud, myrrh, musk, vanilla, honey, which I talked about before. Musk, vanilla, any of those two, honey, those are really sexy notes that girls like on a guy when you go out. Yeah. Oh, I can smell it now. I love that fragrance. All right. Coming in, my number four is from the Niche House Jeroboam, and this is called Vespero. Vespero. This is, you see, it's a small bottle. This is a 30 ml bottle. The reason why is this is what's called an extrait de parfum. And extrait is the highest concentration, basically, perfume that you can buy. It's typically going to be at least around 30% of fragrance oil, somewhere in that range. So it's very intense. That's why the bottle is smaller. But the reason why I picked this one is for those of you who like or have heard of a very famous brand called Creed Aventus, yep. which has been legendary for the last 12 years or so in the fragrance world. This to me is, is a better version of Creed Aventus. It's, it's a more intense version. I think it's better well blended, especially the modern version of Creed Aventus, which has lost its yeah. appeal a little bit. This to me is a real thumbs up. Great pick. All right. So, my number three here, we got Sedley by Perfumes de Marley. My favorite bottle from the brand. Yeah. And this one, what I like about it is it's got mint, some spearmint. It's got spearmint. It's got, I think, some, some woodsy as well. It's just, this one will like, this is just a fresh wake up for me. I wear this one to the gym a lot. It's, it's a good crowd pleaser. Yeah. It's like, like I said in my recent video for Joel, it's, it stimulates your senses, like like five gum, spearmint. I kind of yeah. put that together. No, it's, it's, it's how it makes you feel. That's a, a great way to describe it, is that spearmint gives it a very different, yeah. fresh vibe to it. Gives you some energy, I mean, it feels good. Yeah, I like that they use spearmint too, because a lot of times mint is the more green mint, and this is the more the spearmint, which a lot of people associate with chewing gum. Yeah. But, yeah, it's really unique and yet still very wearable, fresh. Yeah. yeah, great choice. All right, kind of staying in this a little bit more fresher, uh, and, and you'll see a lot of the ones I picked today are going to be more fresh fragrances. But I think if you're just getting into niche to go deep into more, uh, you know, kind of complex fragrances, it might be a little bit challenging. But this is from the house of Montal. This is Amber Musk, and again. You're gonna have musk in here, you're gonna have amber, which is a little bit of a dark yeah. element, but they've managed to make this one almost like a fresh amber musky scent. I really enjoy it. This is one that is so wearable, it's so versatile, it can be worn in a multitude, work, play, date, school, gym. Yeah. You know, it's just one that I think is very versatile for your collection. I love the Montau design, the simplicity, but the elegance as well. 
So good. All right. Number two. This is Zerzhov's More Than Words. And it's funny, this one was just in a recent video we did with Joel where Babaka, the co-owner here at Osme, picked this as one of her top fragrances she would like to smell on a man if they were going out. Yeah. So this one's like, this one's fruity floral, but it's got some oud in there on the dry down as well. This one is really good and it smells like nothing else you've ever smelled before. I guarantee you, yeah. I guarantee you, not many 20 year olds, if even any, have this, but I do have it personally. <laughs> so I could be one, but it's rare that you'll find this on a guy and it's very attractive. And I love this bottle. It's that deep, almost purple, deep, like kind of violet blue. Um, and for those of you who don't know about this brand, Serge Off, it's one of the best. It's from yeah. Italy. It's this fragrance, you put it on in the morning. It's gonna be there 10 hours later and it's gonna project, meaning it's gonna uh, have what we call sillage, which is where that's what follows you around your body. So it extends out off your skin. People are gonna notice you. They're gonna comment about it. Beautiful presence. This one's great. So that leads me to my number two. And I'm gonna to go to one of my recent pickups in my personal collection. This is Fougere Nobile from Nobile, 1942. We already had La Danza uh, from Colin. This is, uh, it is, I think, a great choice for the younger crowd because this is a fragrance that has a very old school feel to it, but it's a modern twist. They took the old school, what we call fougere, which people typically associate with older men, barbershop, and they've updated it in a very Italian way, as Italians do best. And this is gonna be, if you're a younger dude and you wanna smell, smell more mature, but not like an old dude, this is yeah, that's a great description. And a good thing about this brand here, uh, I think this bottle's like 140, maybe? I think it's 135. 135, yeah. yeah. So a lot of you get scared of the prices on niche fragrances versus designer. That's another thing. The yep. niche fragrances are gonna cost a little more, but you're paying for the quality and what you want and what you get. And, and this one is in a good price range, I'd say, for, if you're just starting out. Absolutely. All right, my number, my number one here, my, maybe one of my favorite at the moment, out of my collection, this one is Blessed Baraka by Anishio. This one is just, I don't know, it's like, like sex in a bottle almost, I would say. This one is just so seductive. It's got white flowers, sandalwood, captive wood, vanilla, musk, again, with the vanilla and the musk and the amber, folks. If you're looking to make a statement, looking to attract the females, those are some notes to look for. And I've heard you talk about, I would probably say this is the one you talk about most. Yeah. You know, you know we spend time here talking about fragrances, about this passion we love. And I probably would say, I think you talk about this I'd one the most. So. Clearly, yeah, I mean, it's a winner. I just did a video recently where I did my top five Initio perfumes. This might be in there. You guys get to go check to my team, check, check it, it out. out. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful fragrance. This one is, is so different than anything else on the market. You're definitely gonna stand out, but in a good way, for sure. I wore this one to the gym even, and got a compliment from a friend, like, it's crazy. And that leaves me with my last choice, last but certainly not least, You or Someone Like You by a Tat Libre de Orange. French niche house, they are kind of an avant-garde, they do crazy stuff, they've done stuff that smells like sweat and blood and sex. No lie, they have a fragrance actually that, that simulates that. But they do, they have something called I'm Not Trash or something like that. They do one that's created Very 100 hipstery, Totally, they do one that's created 100% by AI. Um, anyways, this one, though, what I like about this for a starter niche fragrance collector, it smells to me like a mojito in a bottle. And who doesn't love mojitos? That's good. It's fruity, but it's tropical. It's minty. It's fresh. It's light. I wear it to the gym also. I wear it everywhere. Women love it. Great quality house. And another good thing about this, you can get a 30 ml bottle in most of their fragrances for around $70. Yeah. So you can get in at a price point that's not going to kill you. That's a great point. You can get a 30 ml of something, folks. Try it out. Yeah. I always recommend getting samples first and trying those, but 
Maybe if you want to get a few different fragrances at the smaller region so you can try them out, this, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a great description. Yeah. All right, folks, thanks for joining. Once again, this is Colin with South of LCC and Joel the Nose. I'm going to link his channel in the description. You can check it out. We're some fellow fragrance connoisseurs who just started filming together. Now we're having some, some good times here at Osmay. Excellent, right. guys. Thank you, and check back soon for a new video. See you guys.